How's it going, boys? Johnny Superb Man here, bringing you another episode of What Do You Think About? And in this episode, we're going to cover the 2012 NHL trade deadline. That's right, it just passed, and there was a bunch of trades, not too many, but there was a few, and there's a bunch of players in new cities. Now, I want to get your opinion on these players, because I don't get to watch them all the time. So first up, just basically there was 15 different trades, and there was 31 players involved in those trades. And the two busiest teams in the NHL trade deadline were the Vancouver Canucks and the Tampa Bay Lightning, both having three trades each. The first trade of the day was the Montreal Canadiens sending Andre Kostitsin to the Nashville Predators in return for a second and fifth round pick. Now this trade, to me, is not that bad for Nashville because... They're getting a bit of an offensive push, some depth for their offense. You know, they're, tr they're trying to make a good playoff push. And Montreal, you know, they get a second-round pick out of it. Not bad. So what do you guys think about this trade? Who got the better end of the deal here? The next trade was Mike Commodore being sent from the Wings to the Tampa Bay Lightning in return for a seventh-round pick. Not a substantial trade. I, d I think it kind of helps Tampa Bay with their defense. A 7th round pick back for Detroit. Must have been a salary cap dump or a good favor to Commodore or Iserman or something like that. What do you guys think? The next trade was between the Minnesota Wild and the Edmonton Oilers. Edmonton sent Tom Gilbert over to Minnesota in return for Nick Schultz. Now, I don't get to watch the Western Conference too much, so here's a perfect example of a trade I don't know what to think of. But I hear Minnesota needs a puck-moving defenseman. They get that in Gilbert. And Edmonton, they need better defensive defensemen. Grindy-ass defenseman, and Schultz is all about that. So this is one of those trades that works out for both teams, I guess. So what do you guys think, Edmonton fans? Is this good? The next trade was between Tampa and Toronto, and I actually have an opinion on this trade because I'm a Leaf fan. Um, Keith Olley was sent to Tampa Bay in return for Carter Ashton. Now, when I first heard this trade, I was a bit uh, disappointed. Not because of the trade itself, just because Keith Olley... Um, we were told that he was going to be something good, and I knew that he might be traded, and when I heard his name, Keith Olley, has been traded, I was expecting something back, and when I heard Carter Ashton, having no clue who this guy is, you know, he's not even, hasn't played an NHL game, uh, yeah, that's, I was a bit disappointed, but, you know, he's a young guy, um, he's uh, a big power forward, six foot three. Keith Olley, he's a young prospect, so we traded prospect for prospect, it might work out. Uh, it might be one of those trades that works out for both teams. Tampa Bay continues to bolster its defense. And you know, the Leafs get another young prospect forward. So, I don't know. It's not bad. We'll, we'll have to wait and see for this one. The next trade, once again, included the Tampa Bay Lightning. And once again, they went after more defensemen. Getting Brian Lee from the Ottawa Senators in return for Matt Gilroy. And you know what? This trade makes me laugh. Not because of the trade itself, but because of Brian Lee. I mean, the Ottawa Senators, they could have drafted Anze Kopitar or Mark Stahl above Brian Lee. So in a weird kind of way, they're trading away, um, they're, they're trading Matt Gilroy for Anze Kopitar or Mark Stahl. You know what I mean? Oh, Brian Lee, Brian Lee. The next trade is actually quite substantial. It's between the San Jose Sharks and the Colorado Avalanche. And from the Colorado Avalanche to San Jose goes Daniel Winnick, TJ Galliardi, and a 2013 7th round pick. And to Colorado goes Jamie McGinn, Michael Sagrabosa, I'm probably pronounced that wrong, and Mike Connolly. Now here's another example of a trade of players I don't really get to watch too much. I, I think this is more of a, a, a playoff push trade for San Jose getting depth in Galliardi and Winnick. Um, but let me know, boys, San Jose and Colorado fans, what do you think about this trade? The next trade was between the Vancouver Canucks and the Columbus Blue Jackets. Columbus sent Samuel Paulson, continuing to unload all their older players, sent them to the Vancouver Canucks in return for a pair of fourth-round picks in the 2012 draft. Not bad for, uh, for Columbus getting two draft picks for Samuel Paulson, and not bad for Vancouver. Vancouver obviously trying to win the Stanley Cup this year. Injuries are going to happen. That's some nice depth there in Samuel Paulson. I think this is a good trade for both parties. This next trade has me fooled just a little bit because the Winnipeg Jets unloaded Johnny Oduya to the Chicago Blackhawks for a second round and a third round pick. They got they got good uh, good value for Johnny Oduya, but here's the reason it confuses me. Chicago wants to pick up Oduya to help out their defense, to help them get into the playoffs and help with a solid playoff run, right? 
But Winnipeg, I mean, they're they're deep in a playoff run in the Eastern Conference. Now, I know there's if the one spot that Winnipeg is weak, it's definitely not defense. They have a plethora of defensemen. But still, if you're in a playoff hunt, why do you unload Johnny Oduya? But I, I did say that they got good value. And getting a second round and a third round pick for Johnny Oduya, I mean, it's good value. But again, Winnipeg, I thought you're trying to make the playoffs. Jet fans, what do you think about this trade? The Boston Bruins and the New York Islanders also had a trade together. Brian Rolston and Mike Mateau from the Islanders went to Boston. Um, that'll help the depth for their playoff run that they're going to have. You know they want to defend that Stanley Cup. And I'm guessing Mark Canton and Yannick Riendo are young prospects. Not a big trade here, but Brian Rolston, some veteran leadership right there. Kind of like the uh, Mark Recchi from last year, you could say. Now the steal of the trade deadline has to go to the Buffalo Sabres. The uh, Buffalo Sabres traded Paul Gostad and a 2013 fourth round pick to the Nashville Predators in return for a first round pick in the 2012 uh, draft. Now this is a great trade. It's not as lopsided as you may think because the Nashville Predators have told everyone and clearly by the trades that they've made, they're trying to have they're trying to win the Stanley Cup this year. They've picked up players in every position and Paul Gostad, yeah, he adds to your depth. He's a gritty player. But for Buffalo, after the season that they've had, to unload Paul Gostad and get a first-round pick, which they can use to draft someone or that they can use to trade later, I mean, to me, that's a great trade. A first-round pick for Paul Gostad, basically, hell yeah. Buffalo Sabres, steal of the trade deadline. The Boston Bruins continued to add few pieces to their depth for their playoff run in picking up a defenseman in Greg Zanin from the Minnesota Wild in return for Steve Kampfer. Now, the last trade of the trade deadline was actually the most interesting trade of the trade deadline. The Vancouver Canucks sent Cody Hodgson and Alexander Solzer to the Buffalo Sabres in return for Zach Cassian and Mark andre Gragnani. Now, first, when I first saw this, I thought, holy crap, Buffalo, you just robbed the Vancouver Canucks. Their second great trade of the trade deadline. Uh, Buffalo did great. They got Cody Hodgson and a first-round pick. They rebuilt with, well, they didn't completely rebuilt, but they built for the future in those two trades. Now, Vancouver, they didn't get nothing back here. First of all, they got Mark andre Gragnani. If you remember, Keith Ballard, he's injured right now. So they're adding another piece to their defensive puzzle there. Injuries are going to happen, so that's good. And Zach Cassian, he's an agitator. He's a, And he's a young guy, too. He's, he's younger than Cody Hodgson. And he only went three higher spots in the draft. Uh, Hodgson went 10th. Cassian went 13th. They were in different drafts, but still, it's not like Cassian isn't a prospect of him um, of his own. He's a different type of player, though. He's not a playmaker. He's a, a gritty grinder, uh, agitator. He could turn into something, but we just don't know. Um, I think this will help out Vancouver's playoff run, but still, Cody Hodgson has a bit of a an aura to him. I don't know if that was because he was on the Vancouver Canucks or because he's talented. Again, I don't get to watch him too much. I know playing behind Kessler and Sedin will help out your game for sure. But uh, again, I think on paper and in the real world, I think Buffalo Sabres got the better end of this deal. Not to say it was lopsided, not to say that the Vancouver Canucks didn't get anything, but the Buffalo Sabres in this trade deadline unload Paul Gostad, a fourth-round pick, Zach Cassian, and Mark andre Gragnani for Cody Hodgson and a first-round pick, basically. And Solzer. I won't, I won't t discount Solzer. He might turn out to be something. But to get Cody Hodgson and a first-round pick, I think the winners of the trade deadline have to be the Buffalo Sabres. All right, boys? So there you go. There's, there's my review of the NHL 12 or 2012 NHL trade deadline. Uh, there was a few prospect trades in there that I left out because honestly they don't make any they, not that they don't make any sense but I just don't know the players they're not uh, big trades but there's the most important trade to the trade deadline so seriously the teams that I mentioned the teams that I don't know the players for let me know and uh, Buff, Buffalo fans and Vancouver fans I want to know actually more Vancouver fans do you guys like this trade or are you, are you sad to see Cody Hodgson go I actually know somebody who's a Vancouver fan and he's kind of torn uh, so let me know, let me know, Vancouver fans, was this a good idea, and anybody else with any other teams that I commented on, let me know, what do you think about the trade deadline of this year?